welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. As the title I'm sure told you already, we are going to create teardrops on a model or anybody else's face. This can show great emotion, maybe there's no emotion, maybe it's a wedding picture and you want to make a little bit of teardrops. Now I did uh, today on this particular photo overemphasize it to show you exactly what it's going to uh, look like here. But I am going to show you now how we're going to create this teardrop effect. So first I'm going to go ahead and delete the uh, current layer that I created here. And we're going to start from scratch. So what we want to do now is we have our model or our picture. This can be whatever you want it to be but that you want to add some water to. But this is a teardrop effect that I created. We're going to go up here on the top and we're going to create a new layer using the new layer button here. It's a little white piece of paper. Click on that. What you're going to do now is click on and have a hard brush. So we have a brush tool over here. We want to make sure our layer, our color palette is black over white right here on the left. And go down to your brushes on the lower bottom here if you're using Photoshop Elements 11. If you're using 10, it may be on the top. And under default brushes, just pick a hard brush. I, I like to use uh, the hard round uh, 19 pixels. Seems to work okay for me. What we do now is right under the eye here, where the teardrops would be forming, we're going to go ahead and use our left and right bracket key to make different size teardrops. But we're going to make it a little bit bigger just to, again to over accentuate so you can see how this works. So right here I'm going to click the first black dot. Put the second black dot here maybe the third there and maybe a fourth here on her cheek so now we have our four actual black dots and we're ready to go ahead and start with the edit what we want to do now is go under our filter menu still on our layer one go under filter we're going to go to distort now under distort we're going to go to where it says ripple and we're going to make these have a little bit of a ripple effect now if you can't see your ripples in here, you can move this to the left and to the right and scroll up and down. So let's see our little black dots here. And we're going to change the amount of ripple just by changing this slider. So we can change the ripple because teardrops are never the perfect same size. They're not perfectly round. We know that. So let's just click OK when you feel comfortable that it's going to look the way you want it to look. So there we have it. We now have a nice little uh, smudge mark on the face and it looks like a well, kind of a weird shaped teardrop but we're going to get to that and straighten that out a little bit. Next what we want to do is we are going to go to the effects panel. And under the effects panel if you go to styles up on the top it's the middle one there's filter styles effects. Click the pull down menu here and by default it's going to be on bevels but we want to go to wow plastic. That seems to work the best. I've been playing with this and it seems like this really works really nice. Let's go to Wow Plastic and we're going to pick on the Wow Clear Plastic. You're going to click on that and we're going to pull it over and drop it on one of these black dots to apply it. Now you can see where we have it almost like a blister. It almost looks like a little blister on her face like a heat blister or something there or a burn mark. Okay, so we have to do a couple other effects with that first. So we're going to go back to our Layers button here on the bottom. And now you'll see that we have an FX here. And that's indicating that we have a layer style on top of our layer. If we double click the FX, we now have the style settings that we can play with. The first thing you want to do is get rid of that white outer globe that's making it look like a burn mark. So let's get rid of Glow and uncheck that. There you go. Now it just looks like a little bubble of water. Now what I want you to do is play with the bevel size just a little bit here. We're going to play with the bevel size. We can actually uh, change the actual lighting a little bit of it. Give it a little bit more bevel. Just to make it look more like it's a, a teardrop on her face. You can play with your shadow effect if you want. You can pull your shadows up and down. Uh, I personally uh, usually shut my shadows off. You can leave it on. Depends on how you want. But I don't think there should be a shadow because you're indicating that it's up off the face and if it's creating a shadow where you want this teardrop to look like it's on her face. So we're going to leave it right there. That's the place where you want it to be. So once you have that all set up, click OK. Now at this point we're going to go to the Enhance 
an unsharpened mask. Let's click on the unsharpened mask. And all this is going to do is actually unsharpen mask, actually, believe it or not, does some sharpening to the picture. Now, you're not going to see it too well when you're looking at this uh, dialog box here. But you may want to uh, just sharpen it up just a little bit there. And all we're doing is just sharpening the edges a little bit just to give it a little bit more detail. Click OK on that. Now, it's really neat here that I found once you have this created, the style effect and everything's in here, if we brush more on here, we can, in essence, move these teardrops. And that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to lower my brush size using my left bracket key just a little bit. And I'm going to just simply take this and I'm just going to pull this down more into a teardrop. Just like so. Just to give it a little bit of shape there. And you know, try to keep them all going the same way because we figure when, when somebody's crying the teardrops are all going the same way. And yeah, just something like that. And then something like this. So you can always pull it out just a little bit more if you wanted to uh resemble even more of a tear. I uh, like it's coming down her face, so there you go, and you have to play with that a little bit, and you can definitely make it look even more realistic and make it look even more like a teardrop. So I think you can do a really uh, great job with this uh, this particular edit. If you want to learn more about Photoshop Elements and you're thinking, man, where can I turn to learn more? Uh, I don't have a lot of money to spend. You might want to check out my Udemy class, and I'll put a link to it in the uh, show notes here with this particular video. And what Udemy is, it's a great place to go. Uh, there's a ton of online classes, not only my own. There's a bunch of online classes there. And you can sign up for my Photoshop Elements uh, 11 and Beyond class. I think you'll really enjoy that. And uh, you'll learn a lot about Photoshop Elements and editing in general. And you'll have a great time there. It's very inexpensive to sign up. So I'd say sign up today. If not, you can go to my website, jackstechcorner.com, and pick up one of my DVDs. A lot of people like to pick those up because then you have something in your hand, and you can watch that DVD. A lot of people like to watch it in a window on their computer as they're doing their edits. Uh, and you don't have to worry about if you have a slow internet connection or anything. So there's two great ways to learn. I hope you do sign up for one of my courses or uh, order one of the DVDs. I usually ship next day, and it will be on its way to you. Thank you so much for watching this edition of uh, Jack's Tech Corner, and Photoshop Elements 11. Until next time, keep your shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and bye for now.